The calcalkaline magma series is one of two main subdivisions of the subalkaline magma series, the other subalkaline magma series being the thaliaitic. A magma series is a series of compositions that describes the evolution of a mafic magma, which is high in magnesium and iron and produces basaltic abro as it fractionally crystallizes to become a felsic magma, which is low in magnesium and iron and produces Produces realite granite. Calcalkaline rocks are rich in alkaline earths and alkali metals and make up a major part of the crust of the continents. The diverse rock types in the calcalkaline series include volcanic types such as basalt, andesite, dacite, rhyolite, and also the coarser grained intrusive equivalents. They do not include silica undersaturated alkalic or peralkaline rocks. Geochemical characterization Rocks from the calcalkaline magma series are distinguished from rocks from the thaliaitic magma series by the redox state of the magma they crystallized from. When mafic magmas crystallize, they preferentially crystallize the more magnesium rich and iron poor forms of the silicate minerals olivine and pine pyroxene, causing the iron content of thaliaitic magmas to increase as the melt is depleted of iron poor crystals. However, a calcalkaline magma is oxidized enough to precipitate significant amounts of the iron oxide magnetite, causing the iron content of the magma to remain more steady as it cools than with a thaliaitic magma. The difference between these two magma series can be seen on an AFM diagram. A ternary diagram showing the relative proportions of the oxides of sodium oxide plus K2O, iron 2 oxide plus iron 3 oxide, and magnesium oxide. As magmas cool, they precipitate out significantly more iron and magnesium than alkali, causing the magmas to move towards the alkali corner as they cool. In the thaliaitic magma, as it cools and preferentially produces magnesium-rich crystals, the magnesium content of the magma plummets, causing the magma to move away from the magnesium corner until it runs low on magnesium and simply moves towards the alkali corner as it loses iron and magnesium. With the calcalkaline series, however, the precipitation of magnetite causes the iron-magnesium ratio to remain relatively constant, so the magma moves in a straight line towards the alkali corner on the AFM diagram. Calcalkaline magmas are typically hydrous, and also typically are more oxidized, with higher oxygen fugacities. Geologic context. Calcalkaline rocks typically are found in the arcs above subduction zones, commonly in volcanic arcs, and particularly on those arcs on continental crust. Petrologic origin. Rocks in the series are thought to be genetically related by fractional crystallization and to be at least partly derived from magmas of basalt or andesite composition formed in the Earth's mantle. Trends in composition can be explained by a variety of processes. Many explanations focus on water content and oxidation states of the magmas. Proposed mechanisms of formation begin with partial melting of subducted material and of mantle peridotite altered by water and melts derived from subducted material. Mechanisms by which the calcalkaline magmas then evolve may include fractional crystallization assimilation of continental crust, and mixing with partial melts of continental crust. 